weapons of mass destruction thing turned out not to be true. I expected the American people to rise up. It's not that the people are in charge, but that the people's desires are in charge. The people are not in charge. The people exercise no decision-making power in the this environment. So the public is reduced from something which assumes an active citizenry to the idea of the public as passive consumers. driven primarily by instinctual or unconscious desires and that if you can in fact trigger those needs and desires you can get what you want from them. Then, when the Abu Ghraib torture thing surfaced and it was revealed that our government participated in rendition, a practice where we kidnap people and turn them over to regimes who specialize in torture, I was sure then the American people would be heard from. We stood mute. Do you support the proposal for all U.S. Muslims to carry a special ID card? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think they should. I think they should. Which Muslims should have a special security number tattooed on their arm? Only the evil Muslims? Only Arab Muslims? Or all Muslims? All of them. All of them have a security number tattooed on their arm. I think there should be something special, some special mark or something. Maybe a computer chip? Right, computer chip or something, that way they can't hide it. Yeah. Or it's got close to the clothes or something. Statistics that came out over the last five years about the low knowledge of the American people about Iraq and 9-11. You know, on the eve of the Iraq war, only one-third of the American people understood that most of the world opposed our invasion. Another third thought the rest of the world was cheering us on because of all the talk about the Grand Coalition. And another third thought, oh, it was kind of mixed out there. They didn't apparently get a clue about how the largest rallies in history were organized in Spain, in Britain, and in other places against this war. Then came the news that we jailed thousands of so-called terrorist suspects, locked them up without the right to a trial or even the right to confront their accusers. Certainly, we would never stand for that. We did. Uh, the government knows best. Uh, the Constitution be damned. And uh, forget about rational thinking. Now, how did a generation of Americans come to this point that we would believe or want to believe that the government knows best, that the sheet anchor of our liberty, which was written to restrain the government, be damned? There's nothing more shallow than, than broadcast corporate television. And it's shallow for a reason, because the people who are watching the television sets don't have much knowledge. And so there's a constant emphasis to talk about something that is not going to go over the heads of the audience. So instead of having a conversation up here, the conversation is always down here. And now it's been discovered the executive branch has been conducting massive illegal domestic surveillance on its own citizens. You and me. And I at least consult myself that finally, finally, the American people will have had enough. Evidently we haven't. And the fact is that there's nobody in politics today defending individual rights. There are people talking about state rights, this right. That the essence is individual rights and we need to start defending individual rights. Is this hopeless? I think if you project 10 years out, 15, 20 years out, th there's real hope. Short term, it's a disaster. Prosecutors and sheriffs from across Missouri are joining something called the Barack Obama Truth Squad. They also say they plan to respond immediately to any ads and statements that might violate Missouri ethics law. Later at this sit-in protest at the Minneapolis Housing and Urban Development Office, our photojournalist Jared Bergerson was ordered by police not to videotape the demonstration and pushed into an elevator. One person was later arrested. In fact, if the people of this country have spoken the messages, we're okay with it all.
активное мероприятие в KGB, or psychological warfare. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interest of defending themselves, their families, their community and their country. It's a great brainwashing uh, process. The elite are laughing at us because they know that they have us exactly where they want us. Here you see the first time a sound cannon was used to disperse people in the United States. Yes, it can cause ear damage, as people in Iraq already know. It sounds like the Secret Service took over the entire thing. There were 40 different agencies in charge. Highways were closed. Uh, there were gunboats in the river. There were helicopters overhead. Hundreds and hundreds of the police uh, and military in the, what, it, what they were calling the Ninja Turtle outfit, the big vests and helmets and shields and shin guards and the like. They had armored vehicles. Uh, I'm talking probably about six or seven thousand law enforcement people who were there uh, with uh, really nothing to do except <laughs> chase the protest. The, the, the right to dissent, the right to freedom of assembly and that stuff uh, was suspended because the G20 was in town and it really turned into a, a police state. There is a just a progressive militarization and a progressive suspension of the Constitution. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble. The city of Pittsburgh chief police. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. The elite are laughing at us. Stupid, dumb, gullible. They've given you baseball and apple pie and your beer, and you become satisfied with a job, and you know what J-O-B, you know what job means? Just over broke. They've given you exactly just enough to keep you quiet so that you won't rise up. They think they've almost got it made. They're sure that you're not going to rise up and do anything about it. You are not going to revolt because they know that you're already so poor. And after two years, he said you'll be so poor, you will not be able to rebel against the elite. And the elite are laughing at the gullible, stupid American. How bad do things have to get before you do something? Do they have to take away all your property? Do they have to license every activity that you want to engage in? Do they have to be throwing you on cattle cars before you start to say, now wait a minute, I don't think this is a good idea. How long is it going to be before you finally resist? and say, no, I will not comply, period. Ask yourself now, because sooner or later you're going to come to that line, and when they cross it, what are you going to say, well, okay, cross this line, okay, now cross that line, okay, now cross this line, and pretty soon you're in a corner. Sooner or later, you've got to draw a line and stand your ground whether anybody else does or not. That is what liberty is all about. Okay.